What up, y'all? So for y'all that are working abroad, like I do, um, with a trusted dusty laptop, you know, that screen that needs to be clean, obviously. Um, I was using this little contraption here. Um, I've been, I've used this for about six months. So basically, you have the screens that fold out. This part goes on your laptop, right? You just push this out. It's like springboards out onto your laptop. And then you got two screens on the side. So let me kind of show you what that looks like. It's fairly simple to put on, um, except for when you're trying to make a video to show people. That's when it's hard to put on, but typically, typically it's pretty easy. Anyways, it kind of ends up looking like this, right? You got the screens, you can, you know, one, two screens, put it from this side, this one's back, and it works pretty good, actually. The screens are, the screens are, they're, I mean, they're, they're not big. I, I want to say that, I can't remember what the dynamics are or dimensions. I think it's maybe nine inches, maybe. Um, but what I found myself doing is using my main monitor and then putting stuff I don't need at the time to the side, right? Now I have my Teams chat over here or Slack or whatever on the side. And then when I started really engaging in it, I had to move it to the front because it's just easier to use. So what I recently just bought is one of these portable monitors. So this thing here, 15.9 inches. And you set it up, you know, it just sits on the thing like this and you just hook it USB-C to your laptop and it, it's a full blown monitor. So this is a lot nicer, um, a lot more, more real estate. I'll show you what it looks like hooked up. All right, here's my working situation in Port of Arts. Remember I was telling you about the, the uh, difference in the screen. So here's the screen, the extra monitor here. And it's just a simple USB-C cable. So here's my workspace here, right? So you got laptop, the other thing over here. Um, you just basically plug in the USB. It'll detect it. Should I mean it should detect it? And here you can see the monitor one, two. Simply drag this over here. So this works as my workstation right here. This monitor is a lot bigger. It's a lot more realistic looking than the two I had on the side. Plus it's lighter than those, believe it or not. Um, so that's basically it. And being in this open space, as you can see, my daughter up there is in school. I'll show you her setup. But being in this open space, um, it's really not bad. These here, these Sony noise counseling headphones, which I have no affiliation with, um, they actually cancel out everything. Now, when I'm on a conference call um, with my AirPods in, even I have the, the latest AirPods um, with the noise counseling on them, it still picks up all of the background noise. Um, when I'm on a call, people can hear what's going on in the background. They can hear the fan blowing, they can hear, you know, people driving by and all that. But when I put these on, these here, you can't hear anything. I can't hear anything other than the conversation. Um, and I'll open this door behind me on purpose just to see, you know, basically, um, look at that view. But I'll open this door on purpose just to see um, if people can hear anything. And I'm on the comms call, I'm muted. And I always ask, do you hear that? Do you hear that? And they're like, I don't hear anything. So those are my go-to for work. I don't use the earbuds, the AirPods at all. I use those because I have yet to have any issues and it gets loud over here. 
I mean, you got people popping firecrackers, you got motorcycles coming by, you got people in the, the, the ATV things with the stereos blasting, all that stuff comes through here quite a bit. And here comes a motorcycle now. And I've never had any issues on a conference call, an active conference call where I'm speaking never had an issue whatsoever and actually I don't even hear it a lot of times you know my wife will be pointing like you know you hear it and I'll take it off and then I hear all this noise in the background but typically with them on I don't hear anything so yeah that that is the setup here um haven't had any problems with internet internet works good I think I have about 80 megs somewhere around there um but it's more than enough to do what I need to do for work um, the internet has only gone out once since I've, since we've been here and it was after hours, which was like, it wasn't during work time. Um, so, you know, there, there's concerns with that time. I hear a lot of stories about people talking about internet going out and stuff, but I haven't had any issues like that. Um, I do have, have, have an emergency hotspot type thing that I can use. It's kind of expensive but it's supposed to work all over the world. We've tested it, it does work, it's just not cheap. It's called, I think it's called Skyrim. Um, hear that? So, um, if, if I had to use it, I would, but there's a Colo um, workspace, literally not even 10 minute walk down the street, if I had to go use that space. Also, there's a Starbucks um, down the street that has Wi-Fi, so, I mean, I, in a pinch, I could find a place with Wi-Fi before I spent the money on that Skyrim thing. Because I think that, I want to say that thing is like, I want to say it's like 80 or 90 bucks a month um, to use that. So that would be an extreme emergency. Um, but other than that, uh, work has been good. I haven't skipped a beat. Um, I do work for a U.S. company. That's a global company. Um, we got offices and people all over the world so don't have any issues there and I will say for people that are trying to work remote um, and you think your company can't find out because you have a um, VPN or whatever VPN router or you know you buy some VPN program it still doesn't matter Um, if you like your job don't risk it because it's not only about the VPN but there's a lot of corporate computers and laptops have agents on them that run. They, they report in location as well as all kind of other system information. Um, so you may think you may be getting away with it on the VPN, but it, it, it's it's not. You're not. Um, so my advice is if you need your job, don't chance it. If you know they're telling you you can't work out of the U.S. and you think you're going to get around it on the VPN, you'll be sadly mistaken. I've, I've heard plenty of stories where people have gotten um, terminated because, you know, they thought they were hiding behind a VPN and their company found out that they were in some other place. So just a little advice. All right. Talk to you later.